As of November 6th, Jaron Jackson Jr. is averaging 22 points per game. This will be our starting point. He's shooting 55% from the field at about 14 attempts a game. His career high in field goal attempts is about 18 a game. And yes, I know, that was last year while John Morant was out. But we can still use that as a reference point because my contention is Jackson's being underutilized at the moment. So now he's getting 18 shots per game. But should they be twos or threes? Jackson's shooting 64% from two and, a, and about 41% from three, which is outstanding on both accounts. But he's only shot over 35% once in his career from three, where there were more than five attempts per game. So his three-point percentage goes down as his attempts go up, which is natural. But from two, he's only shot under 50% once in his career. So obviously the two-point shot is a more proficient shot for him. Now just last year he shot 50% from two at 12 shots a game, which is three more than he's taken at the moment. So we'll use this percentage, 50%. So four more shots a game at 50% is four extra points per game to his average. And remember the free throws. He's inside more drawing fouls. Based on last year's attempts, you can add another trip to the free throw line. He's shooting 73% at the moment. So you can add one or two um, points per game more to his average. So respectfully, and at his most efficient, Jackson should be averaging at least 27 points per game. 